John, I've got another gallery here in Fountain City, Wisconsin right. at Elmer's Auto and Toy Museum. Man, let's dive into this thing because there is a very, very clear theme. And the theme is, Matt, you're right. It's all about cars and motorcycles. And what a way to kick that off, 1963. Corvette, first year of the Stingray. This is a convertible, that's original paint. So cool. Now I know this GTO back here, John, you were, you were oogling this thing pretty closely. What's the story behind it? Man, lots of reasons why, Matt. You know, three deuces and a four speed and a 3D9 were lyrics from the famous song GTO, but that's what this particular one has. It's a two-door hardtop from 1966. Original platinum silver paint, original dark blue interior, the odometer reads 28,000 miles. That really is a common theme. A lot of these cars that are crossing the block are low mileage. And man, talk about diversity, John. Here we have a <laughs> Rolls Royce. Yeah, right-hand drive version uh, from 1933. All aluminum body. Top of the line back then, top of the line today. And really showcasing Elmer's eclectic diversity of interest, a bunch of pre-war stuff as we make our way back to some of the most iconic 50s and 60s cruisers. And again, low mileage is a common theme. 1969 Impala with 1,200 original miles. Now we mentioned that there's a motorcycle presence and here you can see just a small sampling of what will be available crossing the block. Well, John, I also want to point out that we've got two F bodies here, and I got to say, both are clo have close ties to Indy 500 activities, and both I'm very excited about. This is a 1969 pace car replica. Man, one of the most iconic looks with that hugger orange interior. But I think the one that all eyes will be on is this <laughs> 1982 example, and Elmer bought this new less than 500 miles on the odometer. And boy, John, you know, the later model F bodies are really climbing fast in popularity. So I think the collectors and enthusiasts will really be paying close attention to this. That is a very good point, Matt. And don't forget all of these lots selling at no reserve. 